Note that obviously it is not illegal to live out of state and be a landlord, but what does that really say about an owner's commitment to the community and to their tenants? It's why the city of Hartford is working to crack down on out-of-state owners, but also incentivize local ownership. Please do something about this. It's urgent. To find a building owned by an out-of-state landlord in Hartford, all you have to do is follow your nose. This is a, a, a bad actor in our city who is making money off of some of our most vulnerable residents. Mayor Arunan Arlampalam capped off Housing Week in Hartford at this blighted apartment complex on Farmington Ave that's been cited for multiple code violations. Tenants like Gordon Platt say they've had enough. I tried to get in touch with them, you know, for shoveling of the snow, and there was no way I could get through. They weren't answering the phone. You see, this building, along with the abandoned one next door, and 13 others across the city are owned by Pax Properties, an out-of-state entity last listed in New Jersey. It is operated under the guise of several LLCs. We've got another property around the corner that's not getting hot water right now. We've got rodent infestation problems. Dead mice, dirty diapers, old food, baby bassinets. Just a few of the items scattered among the field of debris that blights the landscape. The city has slapped them with health and safety citations over and over again. We send them official notices and we tell them that for each of your violations, we're going to fine you. And when that doesn't work, it can turn criminal. We will make referrals to the state's attorney's office. Hartford is cracking down on these so-called slumlords, and here's how. A city council proposal would raise the daily maximum fine for blight. Hartford plans to create a master list of all the known problem properties and make it public. The city leaders also plan to create a map where the specific problems can be logged. So that we spot them before we get serious complaints coming from them. The city is even beginning the foreclosure process on some properties, but it's not as easy as slapping a condemned sign on a door because people live behind them. We pay a lot of money to live here and we should deserve, we deserve to have, be treated with respect. And one thing that's worth noting here, the city is really relying on the cooperation of residents and that because that's because they can't take any action unless they're invited inside a building by a tenant. After all, it is private property. We're live outside Hartford City Hall. Back Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.